Bolo Punch Boxing Hour brought to you by George Rogie Insurance, www.bolopunchboxinghour.com. Streaming to you live, as always, on Ustream.tv. On the phone right now, I have got an absolute phenom in the heavyweight division. He is originally from Tonga, which is a little bit a ways from where we are here in Chicago. Bowie Tupo. Bowie, how you doing, man? All right, sir. Fine, thank you. How are you guys doing? Excellent. We're here in Chicago. Uh, we're having a good old time. It's not quite as hot here as it is in Vegas, I'm sure. But uh, Now, how long have you been staying in Vegas now? Here for like about a year and a half now. Year and a half now. Okay. Yes. Well, excellent. Well, you are scheduled to fight uh, Demetrius King at Pachanga Resort and Casino in Temecula, California, uh, coming up in just over what two weeks now? Yeah, about two weeks. About yes, two sir. weeks. So, how's your training camp going? Going well? Uh, it's going good. Sir. Like you know, I've been doing a lot of sparring and that. So, um, I I don't know much about him, but Demetrius King. So. Like you know, just like you know, just have to train hard and and get in there, try to improve a bit more. So very nice. Well, what gym do you train out there in Vegas at? Um, we used to train at Johnny Taco though, but we moved to our trainer. My trainer kind of moved on to another gym, so it's kind of a bit different, a bit weird because it's like an MMA gym. So, but so it's all right. It's something to, to start with. Now, don't let us lose you to the dark side. Don't go over to MMA. Uh, no way, sir. No way. <laughs> like, you know, I'm, I'm into boxing, you know. That's good to know. That's good to know. One of our listeners just asked, is uh, is your fight going to be televised? Um, for, not this fight, sir. Not this fight. Um, the next fight is. The next fight is televised, but not this one. Okay. Well, hey, let's go Let's go back to when Bowie Tupo, and I'm saying your last name correctly, right? Oh, sir, sir, that's the first thing I, I should say to you. Um, you're the first person that ever said my name right. <laughs> uh, like, you know, next time I, I will see you, mate, in person, I will give you a big hug. <laughs> well, well, thank you for that. So, so I mean, I, I can imagine some of the other pronunciations, Tapuo and Tapu. And, and you know what? As big as, your name, as big as you are, sir, I'm going to say your name right <laughs> the first time, every time. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, how did Bowie Tupo find his first pair of boxing gloves? How did you get started in this sport? Um, like first, I, I think I'm gonna have to say my wife, my wife Georgia, kind of introduced me to, to boxing. Um, I, I was a, like you know, because she grew up with the trainer Johnny Lewis. Um, so, but I, I was a rugby player, you know, but I, I, I decided to find something that's gonna straighten my life up and make me focus and discipline my life. So my wife kind of said to me, look, why don't you try boxing? You know, it's, it's, a, like, it's a cool game, it's a cool sport. So, yeah, that's, how, that's when I start boxing. Well, who were some of the fighters that you watched uh, when you were coming into the sport? Balance says? Who, who are some of your influences? Who are some of the gentlemen that you watched as, as a younger guy? Um, a lot of people, like Mike Tyson. Uh, even um, even the Holyfield, I, I always love to watch him. The way he fights, he's a, he's a, like you know, I like I love his style. Yeah, more technical. But it's a, he's more technical. He's more of a technical fighter. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> now, lots of people, because of your uh, your nationality and origins, are going to try and compare you to another heavyweight from around that region. Uh, obviously, we, we all know him as David Tua. Um, but what do you say to that when people want to immediately pigeonhole you and, and compare you to David Tua? Um, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that people say that about me, like, you know, compare me to David Tua, but me and David Tua are two different people. You know, um, like, you know, I, 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 I don't fight like him. I, we both have a different style. Um, I never met the the bloke, you know, it's, but I'm like, you know, I'm still, I, I respect him, he's from the island. <laughs> well, why don't you explain your style a little bit, uh, obviously, uh, Tua was a big puncher, and you like Holyfield, so I'm guessing you're a little bit more of a boxer? Um, a bit of, a bit of every, everything, you know, um, like, you know, I, I, I'm, I usually, like, just get in there and, and be a fighter, but, like, right now, I try to learn how to box and move around a little bit. 
Well, a man your size that's able to move, that's going to be scary. That's going to be scary because guys your size are usually just, like, you know, flat-footed and stuck. Yeah. Not able yeah, to... I guess I guess I have to, 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 to learn how to box too because, you know, because sometimes people can take a punch. Well, you can definitely take a punch because I'm seeing some of the names on your record and uh, and you're knocking most of them out. You're, not, you're knocking almost all of them out. I mean, I'm seeing some of the names on here. Um, now, we've been covering fights in Chicago for a number of years, and there's gentlemen that are used as opponents for world champions and former world champions, like Cissé Salif, Otis Tisdale, Marcus Rode, Chris Koval. These are names that appear on the records of world champions. So there's something to be said for your management that you're not being protected, you know? You're not, you're not being, you're, they're not going to wait for you to get 25 fights for them to put you in with someone that can fight. That's a good thing. No, no, they, they, like, you know, they, they don't, put, they don't wait for me to, to, to wait to, like, you know, to have, like, what you said, have 25 fights and put me up against somebody. You know, I always said to, I always said to everyone else, like, you know, I'm ready to fight, you know, but I always like to get my trainer involved with a lot of my fights and that, so, like, you know, so he knows more about me, the way I train and the way I prepare for my fights. But I kind of listen, you know, I kind of listen more to my promoter. If you want, whoever you want me to fight, I'll fight. Well, these heavyweights that you're fighting, they're big guys, too. Most of the guys that you've been fighting recently have been over uh, 250. Um, is that a little bit tougher for you to fight the bigger guys than the smaller guys? Or uh, is that the, is that the, style, no. the type of guy you want to fight? No, no, I, I don't. I don't like fighting shorter guys. You know, I like you know. I like to fight bigger guys. You know, um, it's more easier for me to move around and, and, and go in a bit more. You know, so like you know, it kind of goes with my style. Well, as big as you are, it's going to be hard to find too many guys that are bigger than you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, geez, Bowie, don't get greedy on me now. Because I mean, what, what what do you want? A Valoweb? Do you want a you want a Klitschko? I mean, it's a little early for that, but I mean, it, I mean, I'm sure we can dig up some guys that are bigger than you, but they're not going to know how to fight. So you're going to be all right, I think. You're going to be all right. So uh, so I, I have to ask you, because there's a lot of big guys out there that they know how to put on a pair of gloves, but you're obviously very different than that. Why? Should we be interested in watching Bowie Tupo, who does not have too much of a uh, of a uh, an amateur career? Because a lot of the a lot of the, the heavyweights these days don't have amateur careers, and and we've had sort of a slump in the heavyweight division lately. Why is Bowie Tupo different? I'm, oh, I'm going to just give a short answer with that. <laughs> okay. I, with, with me, I don't fight for paycheck. I fight with the passion. I love the game. And I enjoy the game, see my heart, and I love that game. So at the end of the day, it's my life. Very cool, very cool. All right. Well, hey, let, let's take a really quick break. We're going to take a commercial, and we'll come right back at you, and we'll, uh, we'll ask some questions from our uh, from our online forum. Is that okay, Bowie? Well, thank you so much, sir. All right. Hold on one second. We're going to take a commercial. We'll be right back with Bowie to Poe. Rogi Insurance is a and you sound like you're in the room with us, Bowie. 